The following program is a public access production. Comcast is required to provide time on this channel and make it available pursuant to franchise agreements with the communities we serve. Comcast is not affiliated with the following program or the producers of public access programming and is not responsible for the content. The following program does not reflect the opinions of Comcast or its affiliates. The message is so simple today. May not be easy, but it's simple. The message is you can. You can. Not you may, but you can. There's a difference in what you can do and what you may do. Can is you have the ability to do it. May I is you, you're asking someone for permission to do it. That's, we used to play a, a game when I was growing up uh, called Mama May I. And you were advancing different levels, different positions towards a goal. And you would always, before you step, you would say, Mama May I. Mama May I. Not do I have the ability, not can I, but do I have your permission to move forward? Mama, may I? But we are talking about can I today. Yes, you can. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever someone told you you shouldn't do, or you can't do, you can do it. You can make it. You can sing it. You can write it. You can endorse it. You can travel, you can sit still, you can move up the ladder, you can finish school, you can have a happy life, you can have a happy home, you can. Whatever it is you're trying to do, you have the ability to do it. You can, you can do it. I'm telling you, you can do it. When you're asking for people's permission for you to do something, there's always somebody telling you that they are not going to allow you to do it. That it's not the right time to do it. It's not the right season to do it. You're not tall, tall enough to do it. You're not young enough to do it. You're too old to do it. Can I? I don't care. If you have the desire to do a thing, you can do it. It's just that you have to have the desire to do it. Mama May I is different from can I. Can, do I have the ability? Do I have the skills? Do I have the knowledge? Do I have the ap aptitude to do whatever it is I'm trying to do? You can do it. If no one else ever tells you, I'm telling you now, you can, you can do it. In my lifetime, I have not necessarily done what other people thought I needed to do or did not need to do. I like to travel, I like education, I like seeing different parts of the world, I like different types of people, I like to try different types of food, and there was somebody always in my life to tell me that I could not do it, I should not do it, I should be satisfied with whatever it is I had, but it was something within me to let me know I could get more education. I could travel to another part of the world and work. I could and I have the ability to write that play. I could write that poetry. And you have to be careful when you're looking at people, listening to people, believing people who tell you that you cannot or should not. 
you need to, ought to, should consider the source. Uh, what does that mean? That means if they don't want anything, they don't want to do anything better for themselves. They don't want to see you progressing either. You can do it. I'm a believer in getting advice and getting someone else's opinion, a second opinion, a third opinion. But you have the right to make the last decision. You have the right to think for yourself. You have the right to make that final decision as to whether you will or whether you want. You can if you want to. You can if you study. You can if you save. You can if you try. You can make it. You can do it. You can have it. You can go wherever it is you're trying to go, whatever you're trying to do, whatever education or accomplishment you're trying to make. You can't go for that TV role because you are too whatever. You can't. You can't. You can't. People are so eager to tell you what you cannot do. But it's up to you. Sit down and have a little talk with yourself and with the spirit that's within you. And that spirit within you will reveal to you ways to get things done that you are trying to do. You can. You can make it. You can do it. You can make it. You can do it. You can do it. What is it? Think about it. What is it you want to do that someone told you that you couldn't do? You're too old. You're too young. You're too round, too, too, too short. You don't have enough money. You, when you have a desire to do something, the universe has its way of bringing to you everything that you need to do what Ever is productive that you have a desire to do. That's a long sentence. I'm going to say it again. The universe is for you. The universe will back you in whatever you're trying to do. And if you have a desire for some good, for some wholesome, for something uplifting, for something inspiring, for something that's going to make life easier for yourself or someone else that's going to make life better for someone else. If you have that desire, desire is of God. It's Latin D-E-S-I-R-E is of God. It is for you. If you did not, could not, would not be able to do that thing, that desire would not have come to you. Now, is a different thing is you make the decision not to do it. You make the decision. Not somebody else made the decision. You made the decision for yourself. You made the decision. I don't want this anymore. I'm not going to try this anymore. This is not the way I want to go. That's, that's one thing. But if you stop what you are doing that's productive, that's uplifting, that is uh, refreshing for yourself or others, then you have cheated yourself, the world, of something that's coming forth from you that will never come from anyone else. It may be something like you were trying to do, but it would never be what you were trying to do because you will always give a little twist on what you were trying to do in this life. You can. You can. You can. I'm telling you, you can. If you want to, you can. That's a desire, a burning desire that is in it. You can want to sing, well, they say you cannot carry a tune in a bucket. Well, they have this thing called karaoke. Karaoke is just something fun to do. People don't care whether you're out of tune or not. It's just to have some fun. You can. You don't have to do it just like anybody else. You are a unique, unrepeatable creation in the universe. There's no one else just like you. You don't have to try to do it just like anybody else. You don't have to try to be just like anybody else. It just, it just amazes me how many people, instead of using their talents, they try to do what they, how they, 
saw someone else do it. That, no, 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 that's not the way. You are a created being and you are creative. You are a unique, unrepeatable creation in the universe. No one does it the same way. It's a commercial that says no one does it better. You do it the way you do it because that's the way you're inspired to do it. That's the way the doors will open for you. That's the way opportunities will open for you. That's the way the resources came to you. That's the way you were inspired to do it. You can. You can. Whatever you're trying to do, I want you to know today, without a shadow of a doubt, you can. Don't let people discourage you. Let, let them go on and sit down on their seat or do nothing. Let them continue to talk about what you shouldn't do, what you can't do, what you couldn't do, the way your mama didn't do it, your, your daddy didn't do it, nobody else in your family did. They don't know anybody else who did it like that or at all. So what, what's that have to do with you in this day and age? What's this got to do with you? Why? Oh, you, what does it have to do with you? Nothing, absolutely nothing. What it has to do with what they think, what they know, what they see, what they believe. But it has nothing to do with what you believe. It has nothing to do with what you know. It has nothing to do with your desire. You can make it. You can do it. You can write it. You can sing it. You can travel. You can have these different opportunities. You can move up the ladder. You can be progressive. You can have a non-traditional job. You can. You can. If this is what you want to do, believe me, you can do it. If it's one thing you want to do and it's wholesome, believe me, I have seen it in my life. The universe will turn over flips, will open so many doors for you if you are just persistent in what you're doing. But the main thing you have to have is the desire to do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can make it. You can make it. You can make it. You can do it. And there, 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 there are many reasons to think that you can't. But there are just as many or more reasons to know that you can. There's a little affirmation that says, think of the positive, never the negative. When you go through your day, think of the positive, never the negative, as you go on your way. I think the children in one of my day camps wrote that particular one. You can make it. You can make it. You can do it. Just, just get up and try it. Just get up and try it. Don't let people discourage you because they didn't get a chance to do it. Because they didn't get the opportunity. Because they didn't see the uh, resources. Because they, because they. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you in this day and age. And the opportunities that are in this day and age. You can you can. If nobody else ever tells you, I'm telling you, Pastor Jay's telling you, you can. You can. But do you want it bad enough to ignore what all, everybody else outside of you is telling you? All that noise that's coming in your ear, all those doubters that are, all those haters that are, all those miserable folk that don't want you to succeed. Their life is miserable. They didn't try. They want you to do the same thing. Your life can be, should be, what you have decided it should be. Can you make it? Yes, you can. Can you do it? Yes, you can. Can you write it? Yes, you can. Can you travel? Yes, you can. Can you speak eloquently? Yes, you can. Can you move? to another side of town where people are not so negative, yes you can. There is a way to do whatever you're trying to do in your life and down and it's up to you who you listen to. It's up to you, huh, what you think about you. I think I told you once before, it's a book that uh, my daughter used to read of mine and it's titled what you think of me <laughs> is none of my business. What you think of me 
is none of my business. I don't have to be like you. I don't have to be, go like you. Just tell people, thank you very much and go on your way and do what you got to do. Because as long as you are putting one foot in front of the other, as long as you can do the research, as long as you can turn on Google, as long as you can turn on Bing, as long as, long as you can turn on any of these, re these search engines, you can find out how to do it. People are finding out so many d destructive things using the uh, internet, going on the YouTube, but there's also some positives to do. I want to encourage you today. I want to support you today. I want to facilitate your efforts today by just saying two words, you can. You can. It is simple. But it's not necessarily easy. Well, if it's simple, it should be easy, not necessarily so. It's simple to keep on getting up, going to work. It's simple to keep on making meals for your family day after day. It's simple to sit down and study. It's simple, but it's not necessarily easy when you're already tired from working three and four jobs. Easy, not easy to get up that next day and go to another job. It is easy to make that meal, but it's, I'm sorry, simple to make that meal, but it's not necessarily easy. Keep on cooking, keep on baking, keep on giving ideas, and no one ever says thank you or said they enjoyed what you fixed. It's simple, but it's never easy because you can easily become discouraged. No, it's, it's, it's not hard. It's it's simple if you decide that you want to make better grades. All you need to do is sit down and study, but it's not easy. The television is on. People are calling you to come outside and play. There's housework to be done. There are things that you want to watch on TV, and, but that's, and so it's not easy. There are interruptions. There are temptations, but you can. You can keep cooking those scrumptious meals. You can go to work. You can study that lesson. It's up to you. What is your end goal? What is it that you are trying to do? What is it you want to accomplish? Keep that goal in front of your mind of what you want to do. And the thing for you to do is keep on taking the step towards that goal by doing whatever it is that you know that you are supposed to do. No, 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 no. Everybody will not encourage you. Some people will downright try to discourage you. People will disparage your name. Disparage. This is when our literacy moment, D-I-S-P-A-R-A-G-E, disparage. That means down you, even for trying to do good, talk about you. I have gone home to uh, Atlanta, and I could tell when my family has had me as the topic of conversation because the children... The young children will start saying things that I know that only came from adults. But I just love them and go on and did everything that I have to do. No, the ones who are closest to you will not be your greatest fans, will not be your encouragers all the time. But it's up to you to encourage yourself. It's up to you to believe in you that you can do it. You can do it. All you have to do is keep putting one foot in front of the other. Take your eyes off the doubters, turn around and look at something that's more encouraging. Take your eyes off of those that are down on you and look at something that's more uplifting. Look at a book, look at a story, look at a, a, a motivational uh, message. Go to a seminar. You don't have money, they have free ones. You don't have transportation, get on that bus. There are so many organizations that put on events and they want to provide transportation. Get out of your own self. Make sure that what you want to do is what you want to do. Someone once said to me, if everybody around you look like you, you need to widen your circle of friends. Because your circle of friends are only a reflection of what's in your mind. If everybody in your circle 
is struggling the same way you are, you need a wider circle of friends. Because you are going to go as only as high, as impactful, as influential as the people in your circle. Increase, increase your circle. Get someone, some people who don't look like you. Get some people who know more than you. Get some people who have, are richer than you, have fewer bills than you, and get around those people. And it will encourage you and let you know it's possible. The door is open for you to walk in. It's just you've got to know that you can. Not you may. Not you ought to. Not you should. Not you could. You see a end. The message is just straightforward today. If anyone else told you you cannot, I'm here to tell you today you can. I'm here to let you know you can. I'm getting here. I'm just right here to let you know you can. Why? Why can you? Because as long as you have breath in your body, you have an opportunity to keep on trying. If you decide to give up, that's you. If you're satisfied with where you are, that's you. Do not blame anybody else if you decide this is all I want, which is fine if you decided, but don't let anybody else outside of you tell you that you can't and, it, and discourage you to the place that you stop striving for the best that you can be, striving for the best that you can have, to stop using your creative juices. Don't let anybody tell you to stop when you have that burning inside of you to do something else. Read a book. There are so many influential books out there. Put a subject on the uh, internet and see how many references come up concerning that particular topic. You can. You can. I just want you to know you can. It is not easy. It is not easy because there are so many influences out here telling you that you cannot. But it's simple. Make up your mind what you want. Make up your mind what you want to do. No, I just said let somebody else decide what you want. I just said let somebody else decide for you what you should and should not do, can and can't do. Make up your mind. You can. You can. You can. What's the message simple as it can be today? You can. You see it. And you can. Get up now. Come on. Don't be discouraged. Don't be depressed. Don't be down. Don't be upset with other people. Because they tell you that you can't. That, that's just what they believe. That's just their horizon. What is yours? Lift your head above that. Be an eagle. An eagle has the most acute vision. Sharpest vision. It looks at its prey. It looks at its goals. Look what it's trying to do. And it homes in on that. It's not deterred. It's not deterred from the left or the right. It's just like it has on blinders. It only sees the goal that it's trying to accomplish. It only sees the prey that it wants. It only sees what it's trying to do. Be like the eagle. Fly high above all that noise. Mm. All those frustrated people. Yes, all those people who don't think that you are good enough. But I'm here to tell you today you can. Whatever it is you're trying to do, let the Spirit lead and guide you because you can. This message is sent from my heart to you because I, I know there's not always going to be somebody around to tell you that you can. But I'm here to let you know you can. Get that intestinal fortitude or the guts to strike out on your own and do what you have to do because you can. And no one can stop you but you. You can. One, nothing can defeat. I read somewhere a long time ago, nothing can beat. Nothing can defeat. Nothing can block. Nothing can undo what can't defeat, can't beat, can't block.
can undo a made up mind. A made up mind is powerful. It's something to be reckoned with. I don't care what I see or don't see. I don't care what you say or don't say. I don't care whether it's rain, shine, sleet, or snow. I've got a made up mind who said in the scriptures that Christ will set his face like flint when he was on his way to Jerusalem. Even his inner circle tried to stop him, but he knew that he had to go to Calvary. He had his face set. He had his mind made up. He knew his purpose. He knew his goal. Know your purpose. Know your goal. Set your mind. Make up your mind. Set your mind on stone. Set it like flint that nothing and no one can deter you because you made up mind. I got a made up mind. Nothing and no one can stop you because you got a made up mind. Nothing and no one can block you because you've got a made up mind. You can. You can. If no one else can tell you that or will tell you that, I'm telling you this day, you can. You can. This is Pastor Jack letting you know that it's always a pleasure for me to be here with you. And I want you to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. What did I say? Say that again. I want you to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I say it once again. I want you to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Simple message may not be easy. You may want people to be in your corner, have your back. Not going to necessarily happen. So it's not easy. But it's a simple message. You can. You can believe it. I believe it. Give me a call if you need to. Send me an email if you want to. Answer my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. You can. You can. You have a good day. Be who you are. Don't try to be anybody else. What did I say today? You can. There's no one else just like you. It's better to be an original of yourself. Say it. A copy of someone else. You don't have to be just like, even kind of like, no one else. You can. Remember, you can.